another vo- another vlog on stress awareness month understanding stress this is a beginner's guide in this vlog so i'll break down what stress really is and how it affects our mental and physical health we'll also explore the science behind stress and its impact on our bodies as well as common misconceptions about stress understanding stress Stress is our body's natural response to challenges and demands. It's not always a bad thing. In fact, in small doses, stress can motivate us and help us perform better. However, when stress becomes chronic or overwhelming, it can have a serious consequence for our health. And what do we mean by chronic? Where the stress becomes more and more and more and it increases at such a level that you no longer are able to manage it or control it. Stress effects on our mental health. Stress can have, well, it does have a profound impact on our mental well-being. It can manifest as feelings of anxiety, irritability, or sadness. Chronic stress has been linked to an increased risk of developing mental disorders such as anxiety disorder and depression. It can also impair our ability to think clearly, concentrate, and make decisions. So what does that mean? Sleepless nights? You can't stop thinking. This whole problem consumes your mind consistently. You're irritated. You're short-tempered. You're overwhelmed, right? You get anxiety attacks. It's a very, very dangerous thing. Please be aware of the mental health side effects to stress. Now for the effects that stress has on our physical health. It takes a toll on our bodies when we're stressed. Our bodies go into, it literally goes into fight or flight mode. Releasing hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. While these hormones are helpful in the short term, chronic exposure to them can lead to a range of of physical health problems. These can include cardiovascular issues like high blood pressure and heart disease, digestive problems like irritable bowel syndrome and weakened immune function. Now let's quickly just recap that because I think the physical part is what is very common to most of us, high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a dangerous thing, even if you have chronic meds that you're using for high blood pressure. A few years back, a a, a new type of stroke made its way into society. They called it the silent stroke. Literally, people go to bed, they go to sleep. In the morning when they wake up, half of their face is skew or deformed or something like that. It's a dangerous stroke. It's now a common stroke, but this is, this is just one of those strokes, people, because of high blood pressure, because of stress. Young people also now, more and more, are getting strokes, right? Heart diseases, we know that, right? But one of the things that I think that we weren't aware of, um, irritable bowel syndrome right um that's also something that is very now coming into into light this type of um illness and then one common thing that we all know right um we have different effects or stress affects us different for me personally if i stress i don't lose weight i pick up weight but i don't eat 
normally, right? I don't. I, I, I sometimes go, like, for a day I will only have one meal, but I'm not losing the weight, I'm picking up weight, right? Because of the stress. So my body reacts differently to stress. I pick up weight. The more I stress, the more weight I pick up. When things are happy, chappy, I lose the weight, but I eat more, but I lose the weight. So just be aware of what, how your body reacts to stress. If you know how your body reacts to stress, you can pick up the signs very early. Stress is part of our natural daily life. Right? It's part of our life. But it's important to recognize when it becomes too much to handle. There's no shame in saying, I, this is enough, I can't deal with it at the moment. By understanding the effects of stress in our mental and physical health, we can take steps to manage it more effectively, you know. In future vlogs, we'll explore practical strategies for coping with stress and improving our overall well-being. In the previous vlog, I gave a little bit of life hacks in relation to how to alleviate or get rid of a little bit of stress that you may feel. Please comment and let me know which one worked for you, which one you felt like it fits into your daily routine, your lively routine, um, you know, you can use it um, and find one. If you have, if you don't want to comment, do me a favor and find one that works for you. You know, you only need five minutes of your day to just de-stress. Five minutes out of your day to de-stress can save your life. Thanks for watching. If you found that this vlog was meaningful, it had purpose, please like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. Who knows, you might get some more um, life hacks and tips in our future vlogs and you can get notifications when a new post comes out. So till next time, see you.